Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Godson and we got a top five raid for you. So this is the second installment of my top five. Usually we do have people on leaderboards that do this. You guys are lucky you tuned in because I got some top players coming for you and they want one of two things. Either your trophies, your money, or maybe even both. So you guys, let me know what you think. Let's start this off big coming in at number five. We got the kid, he's going in. This is the guy from Ice Ice Baby and he's coming with fire. So what does he got for us today? Well, he's going in with golems. This is the typical strategy when you're in Champions League. They go in with golems to clear it up. Yep, there goes the witches. A very nice strategy if you ask me. I use it myself. He's got those golems going in so that they draw the attack fire away from his witches, his troops. And the wall breakers, of course, have a clear path onto that wall. They're going in. The wizards are just cleaning it up. Now here come the clan castle troops, of course those wizards just keep them at bay as long as there's a, maybe a skeleton or two to keep them occupied. But he used the lightning spell to clear them out. And the witches, of course they keep spawning more enemies than those weapons can handle. So there's no hope for this base. And it looks like he's got a golem inside the base and when you get at least one of those things in there, they're really difficult, especially at level 5. To, clean, to take that thing out so he's got some reinforcements to back up the golems and the town hall looks like it's exposed the queen going around harassing those weapons with her x-bow she says nope I have the x-bow in hand and she's taking out the rest of you guys Th this base has no chance now especially with level 40 heroes it's a it's cakewalk so the defenders are just gonna have to raise that white flag because this queen is harassing <laughs> <laughs> Queen is, she's harassing them and taking out all uh, the lixers, everything they got for their money. She's going for it. And so, with only seconds to spare, he's got about four building structures left to take out to get that 100 star. Can he do it? Well, you know what? He has to because he's made it on the top five countdown. The kid, this has been an amazing push 100%. Thank you very much. But, you guys, we're just getting started. So, what do we got next? All right, now coming in at number four, we got Bynes from Clash Gods, and you're gonna need some prayers to find this kind of money. Now, the quality of this video might not be that great, but the money is still good. I don't know about you, but if you can make out those numbers on the screen in front of you, that is at least a million point sixteen, from what I understand. That is the one of the highest, you know, loots I've seen someone take in. So. This is definitely one of the top submissions on our countdown. Mr. Bynes is going for the money and he's doing a good job. Let's see if he can take it out. Take every last penny of this thing and ride this man blind. Oh my gosh, and the person he's fighting is Jay Money. Jay Money, it looks like you got more money than you need, so we're gonna have to take some of this. Just excuse us, but let us through. And of course, now that the Hog Riders have taken out all those weapons, they've stolen everything they could carry. So it looks like all the money is his to take. There's no chance for this. This guy's getting every last cent. Is is cakewalk. It's over. Call the police. They've got it. They're getting a 100% star for this. This has been an awesome loot. In my opinion, I really like loot videos. If you have these, man, show me. Because I really like this one. And this has earned one of the top spots on our countdown. So what do we got next? All right, coming in at number three, we have Sam from Battlethrone. Oh my goodness. This guy has a really nice attack strategy. I'm not biased, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. This man is using goblins. These guys are like crackheads. They need that money. <laughs> they're going in and they're going against a champion. A champion player has almost maxed out his base. He's only got a little bit left. This is unheard of. This guy is doing a 50% victory. One of the best strategies in my game, in my opinion, if you're trying to farm. So this was a quick victory, goodness me, and he's earned himself the top three on our countdown. So you guys can hate if you want, but using tier one troops in Champions League is very difficult, and that's why this raid was amazing. All right, coming in at number two, we have a player from Quantum's Web who's using the Toilet Bomb Attack. Now some of you guys actually call this the Balloonion. I like to call it Toilet Bomb because they're, they're dropping toilets on all these weapons, making sure that they have a path to get in. And such a good job to use these guys at Championship Leagues. I think it's very difficult because it's very base specific and he does such a good job at it. Now do keep in mind guys that this team composition costs very little to make and very fast to train. You're looking at a very cheap team that's basically taking on a pretty much maxed out base. Actually, it is maxed out with max money. So what does it got to do but poop his way to victory? 
And he's doing such a great job with those balloons taking out all the weapons and the minions cleaning it up. Now I did the news channel last video and it looks like this time there could be a chance possibly of balloons in our forecast with a breeze of minions taking it out. So <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this is just this is awesome. This guy has just uh, used these balloons and minions to clean it up, take out the whole side of this base. Now me personally, I don't even risk using this team just because like one, one uh, balloon, one trap balloon will basically blow up your whole team of minions so it's very risky to try this but this guy has managed to pull it off he's done such a great job and honestly the players that are skilled in using this air air units like this up here in champions league it's just amazing to see these guys go to work like this but this is what really caught my eye when he used the heroes and these guys are basically going against clan castle uh cannons Inferno Towers, every, even the King, these guys are just trying to get to that Town Hall. The King is guarding all the units behind him, taking one for the team as the minions try and scurry, taking out that Clan Castle and guarding the ground unit so that the Queen can hurry up and get past this wall and put the last shots into that Town Hall for the win. That was an amazing push and definitely worthy of a top two spot on the countdown. All right, you guys, so coming in at number one, I feel this has basically marked a pivot point in the Clash of Clans history books and this is worthy of a moment of silence. I am not even going to commentate on this. This video speaks for itself. You guys, I hope you enjoy this because this is my dream come true if I ever found a battle like this. All right, thank you guys for watching. This has been my top five countdown. And you guys, again, if you have videos that you have a good raid, make sure you submit it. I'll have more information in the description for you to check out. This is Godson signing off. I'll see you guys next time.